What a splendid morning. Very good morning to everyone. So welcome to another episode of Yoga Fishing. Great man, it's good to have you guys here. It is awesome. What a magnificent day to start. The sun is coming up. It's quarter past five. It's daylight already. Summer is coming. So yeah. So let's see what's going to happen today. Ah! <laughs> fish on. 20 to 7. First fish on. I predicted 7 o'clock. So we've got a bend in the rod. Let's see if we can land it, guys. Let's see if we can land it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. Do I need to say more? All right, guys, what is going to happen today? I don't think I'm going to film all these little guppies we don't always catch big fish never there are days that we're catching small ones so one little tiny little carp big not big skull it's a common carp first fish for the today so it's welcome it's now it smells like a fish looks like mommy so let's get it back guys let's get it back Fish on! <laughs> Let's get it back and time for another one. <laughs> no, I've got a proper bend in the rod here. This is one of my oldest bass rods. It's a Shimano Carbo Max. It's a very, very strong rod. Snorer. <laughs> it's not a giant, but ah, it's lacquer, man. It's lacquer. Right, let's get it bagged, yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, come snorer. Ooh. Come snorer. Hey. <laughs> I've got him. Snore that. <laughs> nice little bobble. I'm not even going to weigh it. It's about maybe about two kilos or something. But what a fight. What a fish. Right, let's get it back, guys. Let's get it back. Woohoo! Look at it. <laughs> Snore that. Ooh. Mm, tough looking fish, that. Tough, tough, tough. Christ, guys, that's great, man, it's great. Time for another one. Fish on, guys, fish on. Another one. <laughs> Ooh, lacca, man, lacca, lacca. <laughs> yeah, all right. Here we go, man, here we go. This is what we're talking about. Yeah, this is fish number four. Twenty past seven. Yeah, this feels a bit better. This feels a bit better. All right, I got that little first one. Let's see, that little first one I caught, and then, um, yeah. I just had to record that one just for in case we don't know what is going to happen the rest of the day. Okay, just now we blanked the rest of the day. So at least then we've got one fish on video. Right, so we're done with the tiny ones. I don't I don't want to record all the small ones. Great. All right, let's see if we can bag this one. Let's see if we can bag it. Bag it. Well, not bag it, net it. 
<laughs> yeah, what's the date today? Anyway, it's the 15th of October 2023. Um, yeah, it's a very lucky day out today. And it's 20 past 7. I've got the whole dam for myself. Damn, isn't that great? <laughs> right, let's bag it. Net it. Sorry, guys. Net. Net. Get the landing gear out. Get the landing gear out. Let's see. Let's see. Shake, yeah. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. Right, and it's getting close. Well, we mustn't get too excited because we can lose fish. And it doesn't matter how good you are. Doesn't matter how good you are. You always, you always stand a chance to lose a fish. But we don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> feisty, feisty, it's very feisty, guys, this fish is not big, 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 but you know what, okay, let me, let me not mess around here, let me just put some focus on here, let's put some focus, see if we can land it, okay, what did I have on here, let us some, uh, let me some share with you, I had the uh, banana egg spray on it with um, uh, liquid gems, citrine, that's a banana X uh, uh, Muti, I can say. Alright, I think I'm going to stick with that. And then... Um, Banana X floaties. <laughs> the banana X sweet dough. Yeah. <laughs> Lacker, man. Lacker. Yo, it's getting some good, good, good head. But no, man, the thing is tiny, man. It's tiny. Well, not tiny. Not tiny. However, let's just try and land it. Ooh, I've got it. Oh, actually, nice look. Nice, nice looking fish. Right, guys, let me turn around. Let me turn around. The bait was in the water for like 20 minutes. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Put upside down. Yeah, this is something I'm trying to adopt and I wonder if anyone can assist me out there as well is to if you keep the fish upside down there oh this okay looks looks so beautiful guys look at this look at this look at this isn't this awesome Get it back, guys. Let's get it back. <laughs> there you go, my old friend. Tight lines, guys. Tight lines. Tight lines. Let's see what's happening here. We've got a bite. Got the inquiry. Um, fish number five. He's just going, he's eating, he's not. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Whoop, bang. <laughs> Feel it. Yeah, fish on, guys, fish on. Yeah, it's awesome, it's awesome. I want to share with you, guys, look at these shirts. Long sleeve. 
Oh, it's a small one. <sighs> Anyways, let's just land it. I wonder why. Up, oh, got it. I don't want to. I did not want to show you these little ones, but I was busy talking, so trying to explain something. Never mind talking. <clears throat> right, let's get it back. Here you go. Free. All right, guys. As I was explaining, these shirts. Um, I'm gonna put up his. I'm gonna put Jr's contact on yeah so give him a whatsapp give him a call speak to him ask him prices and stuff and if you want to only for those who wants to all right look at this i've got my logo on you you go fishing so um if you want it on your shirt, if you order shirts, please mention uh, to JR that you want the logo at the back. Okay, so only if you guys want, um, there might be one or two of you who wants a shirt like this with the Yugo Fishing logo at the back. You're welcome to details are up here. Give him a message and yeah chat him get the prices get the sizes get the cut okay um, i normally wear a large and this is a large shirt so the cut is perfect i am super impressed i like this shirt summer is summer is coming guys i know it sounds doesn't sound right to use a long sleeve in summer but you know what we need to be protected by the sun and winter summer you can wear these long sleeves so right if you want you go fishing mention that you want the logo on the shirt um because it's it's not all the shirts are made like that so it's it's only um per order so if you if you want to order if you need the or if you want the yugo fishing logo on you're more than welcome to contact uh jr details are yeah yeah great guys tight lines time for another one <laughs> i've got my ball on yeah bait ball and i put my banana x floaties on yeah Put one at the bottom, one at the top, and I just push the one on top, push it in. I get my banana X sweet dough. I've cut it open. You go banana X sweet dough, and I just roll it a little bit. Put it on the bottom hook here. I uh, know it's quite far. Like a sweet dough. I'll somehow just hang it like that. I'll take my banana spray. So what I like doing is I just spin it a bit. So if you spray it more, it's just try to yeah, anyway. <coughs> And then my liquid gem, uh, citrine, Put some on here, close that there. Oh, this is one like a banana ball. This I like, I like, I like. Right. Rex me lekker. Ja, het lijkt ze. Het is lekker, lekker mokshake. <laughs> right. I normally keep one loose. You can. There's nothing wrong in pinning both. 
while all is just what I call pin is so that the little two hooks they don't hang both free so they don't if you cast they don't tangle they don't tangle up okay so you don't want your 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 hook snoots especially if you fish with two hooks you don't want them to make a knot when it's lying inside the water there or while casting it tangles up because you can lose a fish if there's a knot in your hook snoot right so um sometimes i hang the one loose but the one is always in the ball to so that, that if you cast it doesn't tangle up right so this is ready to go let's let's plant it <laughs> can land this one this looks like a bit of a better fish um, yeah these batteries these batteries what's the time nine o'clock maybe I'll just go and get some batteries quickly and come back <laughs> all right let us land it Amazing, please like, share, and subscribe. All right, okay, guys. Just a reminder, um, let me stand one side. Just a reminder where I get my baits from, we get it from the visvangwinkel.co.za Piet van Oudswere Guys Support him Support him He works from home It's an online store You can go and um, th There is a, a, a website go and, go and have a look there Guys you can order He's a very trustworthy uh, person He's helped a lot of guys and um, what the, 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 there is a little bit of a bonus there, a small discount. Um, if you are a subscriber of Yugo Fishing on this channel, if you are a subscriber and you mention the password, the password will be Yugo, <laughs> then you get a 5% discount. Um, he's already got good prices, so, and then you get a 5% discount. Yeah, and he couriers nationwide. Guys, go and check it out. Yes. All right, for all your magic baits, all your magic bait needs, um, from the latest products, uh, if you've got any questions, you're more than welcome to ask him. All right, guys, I'm going to take a photo now to show you what I've been using um <coughs> yo excuse me oh take my bifocals away yeah monster cop favorites then i added just black some molasses and then i put monster cop bleeding floaties on And 
and then I've got this extreme fluoro floaty um, floaties what I so I put I put like two floaties on a hook um, because it it like it causes a fish and then last but not least plain sweet dough <laughs> I don't go without that I love that stuff it makes it um, magic based mag magic baits <laughs> a tongue twister magic baits made it for us so that it's comfortable so that is so awesome because you just snip squeeze it instant dough you've got it no no fuss no mess and if you're done just close the little hole just pinch it back or squeeze a little bit out to block the hole and next time you're ready and they've got um, not 100% sure but there's like eight eight flavors on there they've got almond banana eggs plain white plain yellow <laughs> this this oak is going uh. <laughs> guys we're still on with this fish here um, maybe I must while I'm just fighting it look these things are not 10 kgs 15 kgs um, but however they're a lot of fun it's a lot of fun with these little light tackle rods see there with these light tackle rods oh you almost almost went into the drink <laughs> that would have been funny on camera we're still on yeah so I I suspect we've got a between a three and a four kilo on yeah um, yeah we don't pull it pull it I use number one hook so it's a tiny little hook so it's like a catch 22 if you pull it hard you can bend the hook either bend the hook tear it out of his mouth you know while it's underwater there you don't know how how it's been hooked maybe it's just hooked on the side of its mouth um, so if you do pull it harder then you're gonna pull the hook out then you lose your fish anyhow so I believe if you take your time like this the chances of landing it is much 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 bigger so enjoy the fight you don't always catch a big fish so while you while you add it on, on, on a bigger fish just enjoy it just enjoy it just enjoy it. time out oh it's going to be very embarrassing if this thing is like 1 kg <laughs> that's going to be a laughing matter however it's just great to have a fish on the line All right guys it's getting close here it's getting a bit tired let us see Ooh. no there it goes again <laughs> this thing is boxy wow it's a beautiful fish guys this is one amazing fish here wow what a fish look in my books in my books this fish is just awesome is just awesome yeah i think what i'm gonna do is gonna use a longer net let's see if we can get it like this let's see if we can get it like this use the tip of the rod as an absorption got it back into the drink ooh, ooh. here you go yeah. 
tight lines guys tight lines I landed that fish and as I put the camera off the other rod went and I was on and then what happened I never recorded it was about a two kilo fish so I didn't even take a photo I just landed it <laughs> yep that's it seems like whoop, double up again <laughs> let's hope let's hope the sound is going to be sorted i'm trying to sort out the sound now for i don't know how long and every time there's a hiccup every time there's a hiccup all this all that all this all that hopefully one day we're gonna win so i don't know if the mic is getting wet yeah you know some of these fish they take off like a steam train and then you really think it's a big 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 fish but in the meantime he's not so we're on here with another fish and this is fish number 12 because um yeah i don't want to show you all the small ones um the first one two i'll, I'll normally show and after that we're just yeah uh all right just to show that i do get fish <laughs> but if i blank i blank i mean um we i don't come here to pre-feed uh there's no pre-feeding here it's just straightforward start fishing um yes so Young public. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can land this oki. Okay. Oh, this is magic, guys. This is just, just, just magic. Oh, get the rod tip up. Let us use the rod tip as a as a buffer. So when it actually jerks gives a head shake that he doesn't try and tear the hook out of its mouth all right guys just a reminder again these shirts if you want the yugo fishing logo on you're welcome um i told um jr i told him that uh, you guys or anyone is welcome to to um, put the logo on how's it run Hi, my friend. What? Is it? Yeah, he oh, okay. Yeah, that youngster is it's a very, very keen ang angler, Ruan. He's a YouTube follower <laughs> for Hugo Fishing. So, yeah, well done to him. Yeah, he's he's a very keen youngster, upcoming angler. He's um, he's got a lot, a lot, a lot of potential. I think he gives his dad a hiding every now and then. <laughs> Catches the biggest fish or the most fish. Not always though, but he does. Yeah. 
Okay guys, I think it's time to get this fish out. It's a, it's a beautiful fish, it's over three kilos. Yeah, it's amazing, it's amazing, amazing. I know I have to back up, but I don't want to do that shipping. I don't want to. Oh. Yeah, it's the most difficult thing to do is to pack up while the fish are eating. Yeah, that's what a magnificent fish. I said about three k, two, nine, nine. <laughs> two, five. Can you? But nice, huh? So. Alright guys, that's it for today, 15th of October, 15 fish, it was an awesome outing, guys, please like, share and subscribe, um, I know I don't get paid for YouTube, so it's just to get the baits out there, to give advice, to give tips, and to see what works. Um, it's great to, 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 to share what works because not everybody shares what they use. So I'm not shy. I, will, I don't mind telling what I'm using. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for this, for watching. All right. Tight lines, guys. Until the next adventure. Just cheers.